Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Ho, ho, fuck yeah! Grab a cold one. It's Bruce Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here is Huck and Big Nate. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're cracking a couple of bottles, a couple of liters. Um, if you're watching the video, it may look like we both have our own individual liters of liquor, but that's the trick. Tricky, tricky. We're taking an adventure on this episode of Bruise Day Tuesday. Not quite sure how this is going to go. So, uh, so we're like, we're, this is something new. This is the first time I need to be in a long time where we have something entirely different. Well, I, my Monty Python was so. Saying. So here's my thinking. You, you and Drez kind of had a tradition of near beers and uh, non-alcoholic, and I was thinking, well, hell, near liquor. Yeah, is, that's where we are at. What on is this? this and where? Who thought of this? Where did it come from? So I'm, I'm drinking Stroisky, Russian style, premium grape wine with natural flavor added. Twenty one percent alcohol, forty two proof. And the label and the clarity, it looks straight like vodka. Oh, yeah. It looks like, you know, Smirnoff. And I've got the traditional Hobble Creek, which doesn't sound good. Sounds like you're going into the backwoods of upstate New York, and they're going to hobble you. Hobble you, which <laughs> you is hobbled. not good. If you don't know what that is, look that up. Yeah. Blended American. Special select grape wine with natural flavor and caramel color. They never specifically say what the natural flavor is. Yeah, there is no, given there's the no label, back label. And the no. fact that they're like dangerously close to Knob Creek, I'm guessing bourbon. Could I see 21% the, ABV? So that's something. Could I see the consumer uh, information, please? Not, I don't know that you want to know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know that you want to know. So th this has been something that I've seen every time I go to the, uh, the grocery store. I have not seen it. And every time I see it, Oh, they're selling liquor at the uh, grocery store now. That's great. Let's get rid of the ABC store. But no, it's all a trick to lure you in. And you know what? I fell for it. We're taking the adventure. This is 42 the, proof grape wine. I think the last governor before Governor Blackface had tried to eliminate the liquor stores, but they, uh, they make so much money, I guess they couldn't. But I, the reason I guess I haven't noticed is because I travel so much. And in many areas, you can buy liquor at the grocery store. The hell, there's places you can buy liquor at the convenience store. Now, that's a convenience store. When we're in Seattle, I could buy a handle at the Target. It was great. Yeah. So I, I do need to ask, before we actually sample these. I already uh, did. Oh, Sorry. Well, I, I want to know about that. But first, I want to know about what's on the bottle. Because mine says bottled, like up on the neck, bottled by the Brookstone Distilling Company, Owensboro, Kentucky. Well, they've distilled. So mine says bottled by the Mixed Drinks Company, Owensboro, Kentucky. Contains sulfites. I did a little research today. Okay. None of these companies actually exist. Okay. They, they, there is just some weird shelter going on, and they're <laughs> owned. <laughs> like, I had to dig real deep. They're owned by Sazerac. Ah, they got a huge plant out there. So did you send a question to info at stroisky.com? I'm assuming. The, I'm, let's send them an email. If, if They'll the, tell you everything. We're going to have to dig, but I'm assuming I if the distilling should. company's fake, the uh, uh, actual uh, email is probably fake as well. So why do I know about Sazerac? I was there. I believe they make tequila. They're a oh, prominent oh, distiller. Oh, it's, I think, I could be wrong, but I think that, uh, Guinness in America in Baltimore is on the Sazerac plantation. It's not a plantation. Well, I know they have rye. I think. Yeah, Sazerac makes a lot of different liquors. They're big. Well, now they make this, and they're trying to cover it up. And uh, <laughs> we see right through you, Sazerac. It's like it's, they think they're in Bev. Let's make some stuff that, you know, and we'll call it something else and pretend it's not us. All right. Okay. Took a sip. Let me tell you what. But seriously, it's like drinking water. This is a dangerous drink. I mean, seriously, I 
can't drink vodka straight. Of course, it's only 21% and vodka's... Yeah, say, what, what's the ABV on that? 20, uh, 40, it's 42 proof, which is 21%. We did add ice. I, I want to disclose that before I, I, I talk about this. I probably should have tried some neat. Um, maybe. I, and maybe that, that's another this experiment is like, to this do. This is just this tastes like water. I, I, this literally tastes like water. Well, this tastes like watered-down bourbon. You know, you ever... Well, that's kind of what it is. Yeah, you have that moment where you uh, leave your bourbon out overnight with some ice in it and... Uh, yeah, I have every morning, I have that moment. It's <laughs> called my good morning. Like, well, hey, good morning. It's my good morning nightcap. Every yeah. morning. I had one this morning, actually. Yeah, well, then I, I think you're going to be thrilled with the Hobble Creek. No, I mean, I'm not thrilled with the good morning nightcap. Usually, I take a sip of it and go throw a little more in there. Well, hopefully, you're not hung cube. over right now and maybe you'll be more welcoming. Yeah, I'm not hung over right now. Because we had a beer before we started. <laughs> yeah, I, I really. To truth, everything. I, I I had sent you a message saying uh, I'm going to bring some beer to cleanse. No, that's palates. a good idea because I don't. Can we once initially I taste that cleansed bourbon, because, I might need something here. Yeah, this is. It's not the worst thing I've ever. So let's drank. see, eighty proof is forty percent. So one would need to drink twice as much of this as you would drink a vodka to get the same buzz. But this might be a good thing. You know, say, let's just say you're not really an alcoholic, but you drink a lot and you'd like to cut back. Maybe say, for instance, you wanted to cut your drinking in half. So you just get the bottle of this. Same quantity of drinks. And you just pour a shot and make you drink. And then you, there you go. You got the same number of drinks, but half the alcohol. I think this, I'm, I'm going to maybe buy some stock in this. This could be a big thing. No, that that's kind of, what what I read into is is why this exists is for people who are trying to like cut back and, and reduce that kind of like uh, quitters uh, smokers have vapes. Yeah, my buddy is like quitting smoking, and he'll take light a cigarette. He'll take like three puffs and put it out, and then it's just throwing money down the toilet. No, he'll like relight it. And he says and thing. I know because I used to smoke thirty five years ago. I quit smoking thirty six now. Does it taste the same after well, relighting? After the yeah, relight it's even better. Because it's kind of juiced up with the nicotine and everything. I remember picking up half done cigarettes and lighting them. No, I remember picking them up off I the hope. ground. Your own, I oh no, <laughs> that's uh, that's definitely a <laughs> yeah. Normally my own, yes. I've seen some yeah bad things. Well, let's not go down that rabbit hole. So, I mean, is is this what you would call the <clears throat> next greatest fad and drink? I'm Bless gonna, you. See, I'm going to say, you know, and I predicted, I, I was, again, just the other day reading about how amazing seltzers are doing. And I was the only one two years ago that said, this is the next big thing. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, that's Zima. And Zima. How's Zima doing now? Not that good. So if you go I to said, Canada, I think they're still performing. No, not really performing. They may exist. But I said, this is, seltzers are the thing because they're the perfect timing. It's the perfect perfect wave right there and it's is and it still is and everybody's getting into it and nobody's losing money nobody's see people you know who's losing market share craft beer wine liquor all of them they're like screw you seltzers we don't like you but this is not this is not gonna be the next big thing okay i'm gonna huck is gonna predict this is not it so for me and you kind of actually threw me into the pool of seltzer not literally. That'd be fun, though. Um, yeah, just don't metaphorically drink it out of the pool. Well, as long as no one's peeing. Well, that's uh, what I'm saying. It's me hard to me tell. Metaphorically, and that's kind of become my go-to on, on a day where, like, I'm just kind of doing something light. Like, let's say I'm just grilling out. I, I will grab a twelve pack of White Claw. Yeah. And I'll finish eleven twelfths of it, maybe yeah. twelve twelfths. Yeah. That's hundred percent. Yeah. Don't feel it the next day. Yeah. You don't at all. So I catch a lot of feces when I'm out and about. You know, they are, aren't you Huck? Yes, I am. And why are you drinking that White Claw? I'm like, well, why are you drinking that Bud Light? And they go, well, it's beer. I mean, you're not drinking beer. I'm like, yeah, but it's, it's a higher APV than yours, you little wuss. Move along. Nothing to see here. But then, you know, I just, the other thing is beer. It's hard to get in Blacksburg, at least. There aren't a lot of places to get good beer, A. B, good beer has high amounts of carbohydrates and alcohol, so it gets me fat and drunk. And C, you know, if I can't drink seltzer, I'll drink liquor. Well, that's another thing I, I need to ask you, because 
you're, you're talking about the availability, particularly if you're out at a bar. I don't know if you're like me. It, it, I can obviously, I usually I can rule out half of ice and not really my style. Pilsner is not really my style as lagers. But if you see something new, like you almost immediately try it, right? Right. I hardly ever, okay. Uh, my rule of thumb, even my, my go-to bar, you know, and it's changing because people are opening up as PKs in Blacksburg. That's where I go most evenings and hang out with my friends. But I also go to 622, who does have a good craft beer selection. Doesn't rotate as rapidly as I, as I would like. The, you know, PK's has a college bar. They have college beer. Now, I get it. And, I mean, I've been going there since the, the virus, and I can't talk them into bringing any beers in for me. You know, But, I mean, if Dogfish had 60 Minute, I can drink that all day long. That's fine. I would like some Dale's Pale Ale and some other things, but that's fine. But they have seltzers, but they have them in the big boys. You know, then so does 622. But then the London Underground just opened a square five. I'll give them a free plug. And they have them in regular cans. Now, they only have like two flavors, pineapple and black cherry. But I tell you, it's all right. They have a Truly and a White Claw. They're kind of like the everyman's bar. You should check it out if you haven't. I mean, I know you got the kids and all. You won't be checking out too many bars. I, I'm counting down the days that the the oldest is fifteen and a half years away from being a DD. So there you go. Just gotta wait. Just gotta wait it out. Hey, Hopefully, seltzers are still a thing. I'll ride the craze. Apparently, you haven't heard about the farm use tags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even yeah. think about farm use. Yeah, tags. you're like twelve. Farm use tags, you're fine. Just gotta throw a couple of hay bales and gas yeah, cans in there. In Giles or Floyd or somewhere, nobody's even gonna look. Boy. All right. So, I mean. You might have to put a hay bale on the seat for the child to reach. Oh. Phone room. books. Yeah. They still mail them out. They're free. They're like this thing. I'm only buying. <laughs> I'm only buying one hay bale. Yeah, but I've got like five years worth of phone okay. books. Okay. It's fine. It is a problem that you can't find anybody's number, but you can because you just got on Facebook and say, "Anybody got this guy's number?" Poof, hundred people give it to you. All right, so we got to talk about this. I- I'm gonna let you go first with the Stroisky. Oh, okay. Vodka. You can't hear finger quotes. No. But this would be cool. Here's here's what I would like to have a pint of this and go somewhere and chug it. I mean, basically, it'd be like chugging you a pint get, of yeah, wine. You definitely get it's, some looks. Yeah. Just turn that thing up and chug it and throw it down. Say, let's go get a drink. You know, because yeah. this is really easy to drink. Probably too easy. What? He's doing it up. Oh, he finished it. <sighs> just chugged it. It's like. It's just like water. It seriously is just like water. Only it apparently has alcohol in it because my right eye just started twitching a little. It, so if you were going to rate it, just straight. I, I mean, it, I, this is weird, but it's got to be a 2.5 because it's neutral. Is that fair? That I. It's you know. absolutely a neutral drink. There, It has not got flavor. But that means it doesn't have bad flavor, but it doesn't have good flavor. It doesn't have a lot of alcohol, but it doesn't have too little alcohol. So it's, it's a 2.5, 2.5, a neutral all right. drink. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so I'm drinking the Hobble Creek, which is their bourbon imitation. It tastes like watered down bourbon. As someone who really kind of cut his teeth on bourbon, really enjoyed bourbon, I, I'm going to go ahead and do the fair, honest thing here, and I'm going to compare it to bourbon. Oh, it's not good for them. Just a gauge of reference. Old Crow gets a two. What does uh, Woodford get? Uh, well, I wasn't trying to give out a uh, five today, but Woodford does get a yeah, five. Yeah, there. <laughs> Evan Black, which is my go-to, gets a four. So uh, those those are your comparisons. And uh, this. What does Hobble Creek get? Hobble Creek. It's a two. There you go. It aligns right there with Old Crow. It's watered down bourbon. So and, it's, uh, it's like it's got a little bit of negativity to it. Is what I'm going to say. I think it's going to be my new scoring plan. I'm going to, you know, I'm old, but old dog can learn new tricks. And it's like, you know, I'm always judging things, blah blah blah, whatever. But I think I'm just going to go with new, the neutrality thing, right? I like it. Let's see what happens. In right, the well, future. on Untapped, he's Huck's Beer Buzz. I am Horror Show. You can find me under Big Nate as well. We're gonna. Will they let you just change it to Big Nate? They won't. No, they won't. I'm locked in. I'll call them. I'm committed. And uh, 
We're going to go into some rock. We'll be back with some more uh, imitation liquor fun right here on Brew Day Tuesday. Brought wait, to you. Wait. I think you should play some watered down rock. Like. <laughs> Afternoon delight. Sorry. I- All right. Starlin <laughs> vocal band. It's going to get weird right here on uh, 105.3 The Bear. <laughs>